Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel, whichever the case may be. My name is Rachel. Today is a lettering video, which it's been a while since I've done. I've been super sick, so it's been a lot easier just to record my screen directly with some Disney Magic Kingdoms gameplay. But I'm coming back to, to the meat and potatoes of my channel. And that is, of course, lettering. So in my Facebook group, Letterella, I'm gonna start adding in practice sheets. So you can find this in my lettering group. The link is below, and it's exclusively to people in my group. It is a free download, so you don't have to pay anything. And here is the very first one. It is the letter A. And I just have a couple different types of lettering here for you, but I kind of wanted to make the video. When you download the page, if you are using Procreate, you can just download it right into Procreate, or you can print it out if you don't have Procreate, either or. But if you are using Procreate, you want to make sure when you come in that the page itself is locked so you cannot write on it and you want to make a new layer and this is going to be your writing layer so I'm just gonna name that real quick and then I used kind of a turquoisey color just to show you guys and I made these super basic because I want it and I'm using the script brush that it comes free in your procreate app just to make it easy for everybody it isn't my favorite, but it is my one of my favorites for the brushes that came with Procreate. So I made these super simple because I wanted you, and then you can uh, hide that layer and see kind of what you did. I'll just kind of go through these really quick. So I made these simple because I wanted you to be able to kind of grow from these letters and make them your own. So once you get comfortable with doing these, you're going to do them over and over and over again. And to clear them out, you just tap that layer and hit clear and it'll clear all of your letters out and you can start fresh again. But once you get comfortable tracing the letters, then you can kind of go in and make them your own. Like you can, I'm on the mono, that's why I'm like, why is this not turning out right? You can kind of add some flourishes over here to that one. This one you can kind of, you know, take up and add a flourish over here. I mean, you kind of want to just make these your own and use this as like a base of getting used to that muscle memory of your lighter upstrokes and your thicker downstrokes. Maybe do something like this. Oops, too thick. You know, for this one, and then this one. These are like my favorite letters to do that kind of like whimsical. And I left it super basic, but you can do like a cute little, you know, flourishings. And right here. Oh, 
And we can add some more over here. You can do go way up here. The possibilities are endless. And one thing that I love about this, I am using a mono line for this one, is if you just hold your Apple Pencil if you're using Procreate and then tap, it'll make your line perfectly straight. But one thing that I love about this and how I left it just super basic is you can do a lot with this letter. So let me make a new layer and drag it under just in case we don't like what we're doing. Go into here, make this lighter. Bring this way down. You can do like a stippling effect. You know, which you're gonna... Something like that, if you can see that. Or you can do some lines. It's really kind of getting you used to like different things that you can do with these letters to make them truly your own. And when you're done, like I said, you just click clear and you never want to write on this layer because if you do, And if we clear this layer, it's going to clear the whole thing. And to go back, you double tap. So just kind of lock that layer. So you know you're never going to accidentally make a mistake and write on that. I've done it so many times. Trust me. Do what I say, not as I do. I've done it so many times. If you go back into my lettering videos, you'll see. And it's just lock the layer. So if you want this lettering practice sheet just click the link below it's my lettering group i will probably be putting these out weekly for you you can print them out if you don't have procreate that doesn't matter they would work great for tombow dual brush pens any other brush pens you might have or you can even use just a normal pen with a super duper fine nib right there and practice some faux calligraphy so we can kind of do make sure I'm on that writing layer bring that down if you are using pen if you're using a fine nib you can do faux calligraphy we'll bring that over and we'll say, okay, this was an upstroke, so this was a downstroke. And you're just going to want to color that in. And then this was like kind of a downstroke, so we'll just thicken that up a little bit. Or we can do this one. So this would be a downstroke right here. You're gonna color that in. And then this would also be your downstroke. So it's great for any type of pen you have, procreate, not procreate. So yeah, just a quick video getting back in to my lettering. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And I will see you guys in my next video.